Good afternoon to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another Streetwear Talk video. The series where I cover the latest streetwear releases, I cover the latest streetwear news, and of course in the series I just discuss anything to do with streetwear or fashion. Now in today's video I'm going to be covering everything to do with an upcoming collaborative release. What I'm going to be covering is everything to do with the Supreme New York and MM6 Maison Margiela collaboration that is releasing for week seven of Supreme's Spring Summer 2024 collection. Yeah, welcome back guys. It's um, it's a big collaboration to talk about. Uh, we have Supreme collaborating with the Diffusion line MM6 Maison Margiela. Now, this is not the main line. Um, initially, people thought that we were getting a collaboration with the main line brand Maison Margiela, but it's actually the Diffusion line. And the difference between that is a, a lot more significant than people would say. I'll pop up on the screen now a little description from MM6's side of the website of the Maison Margiela website. And it's a, 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 it's a really good little summary of the diffusion line itself. So that kind of sets the expectations of what we're going to be getting moving into this collaboration. It's going to aim to be genderless, more essentials based and some just good quality materials being used and interesting concepts being applied to these essential pieces. Um, it's not going to be anything super extravagant. I'm hoping that we still get a little bit of flair to it and there's some awesome, you know, uh, concepts here applied to some crazy pieces. We'll just have to see what we're in store for. We're going to be covering everything to do with this collaboration. That is the release details, the editorial, the individual photos showing the products and I'll cover my thoughts on the editorial and individual pieces. Uh, how we'll cover all that is by using a hype based article like we always do. Uh, let's head on over there now and we'll start covering the release details for this week 7 collab. So here we are at the hype based article that we're going to be using today guys. It'll be linked down in that description section below if you want to have a read yourselves. Now there's a lot of details here talking about everything to do with the collaboration. Um, I'm assuming there's probably going to be some references to where some of the pieces are coming from in various seasons and whatnot. Um, I actually haven't read the article itself. I'm actually just going to be focusing on the release details and then covering, covering the editorial and individual pieces. But yeah, if you want to have a read of this whole article, as I said, description section below, come check it out. So we have the Supreme MM6 Maison Margiela Spring 24 collaboration, seeing a global release via the uh, Streetwear's online and in-store locations March 28th, which, yeah, that checks out. 28th of March, Thursday, 11 a.m. EDT time in the United States. Uh, if it's dropping in the other regions on that same day, it would be 4 p.m. British Standard Time, 5 p.m. Central European Standard Time, uh, that's all the release details for and all the regions that are getting it on the Thursday. On the Saturday, okay, Japan only. So on Saturday, it's releasing in Japan. I thought Korea might get it, but unfortunately, Korea is at the moment missing out on these collaborations that Supreme is doing. It seems to be that in Korea, they are only getting the seasonal pieces dropping in each of the weekly drops. So, um, Sorry about that, Korea. <laughs> you, uh, you're missing out still, but that's okay. Other uh, areas of the world get to enjoy it, so somebody gets to enjoy it. But uh, yeah, for most of the world, Thursday for Japan Saturday. Uh, if you have any further questions on when and where to pick it up from, uh, drop them in the comment section below, and I'll try and help you out the best that I can. But now that we've covered the release details, where and when it's releasing, we got to cover the what. So let's dive in. Let's check out the editorial first, and then we'll dive into the individual product photos as well to see what we're going to be getting in this collab. Okay, so obviously kickstarting this collaboration, we get the very, very in your face uh, faux fur, I would say trench coat. Um, coat would also be acceptable. It's not overly long. It sits just above the knees or it ideally does if you get the right size for it. Uh, I actually really like it. I like the different textures, how it's all not just one, um, I guess, 
seemingly layer of fur. It looks like it's like either a bunch of different pieces of fur cut up and put together, or it's uh, one big piece of fur that's been shaved down to different lengths. And it's just a lot of fun. I mean, I love faux fur coats. I only have one, but I would love to own a bunch of the ones that Supreme have done in the past. I'd love to own a bunch more just in general. I think they're a really cool outwear piece. Um, some people are not inclined to wear them because I guess of like, uh, I don't know, there's various different reasons on why people would not want to wear them, but I just think they're a lot of fun and I really like wearing them. So yeah, I'm keen on this piece. I think it's a really awesome piece to release in the collaboration. Uh, I assume we're getting a box logo t-shirt as well as we can see under there. Here's another shot of the, of the coat. I'm really liking the coat. It looks really nice. Um, we've then got a cap releasing and potentially a suit as well. I think those are the two pieces that it's trying to showcase here in the, in the editorial. Yeah, I think it's the suit and the cap. Uh, the cap looks like the Supreme logo has been painted over, which I think is a cool concept and something that I'm not the, I, I don't know a lot about the previous collections of Maison Margiela, but I know that a lot of the pieces get hand painted for a lot of the mainline collections. So yeah, I, I think it's really cool to see that presence here as well. Uh, we've got the suit coming in a black, um, embroidery on the left arm to showcase who's working on it here. Yeah, I've, it's perfectly fine. We've got the, the waistcoat underneath it. We've got like a needles rebuild piece here, a varsity jacket where it's like previous varsity jackets from previous Supreme seasons all mashed together here. Uh, the, the color choices they've chosen are really nice. I really like it because it's a varsity jacket and I'm a huge sucker for that. <laughs> um, Features some various logos down here, FTP along the arm there, the Blurred Supreme logo, um, the Supreme Team logo on the left here, and I think another Supreme Team logo on the right here. It's just a mashup of various different varsity jackets, like I was saying, and uh, yeah, I'm here for it, definitely. We've then what, what looks to be a hooded jacket. Um, I can't tell if it's a painted texture or if it's like um, like a waxed cotton that's given this kind of look, but it looks like there's matching double knee pants to it as well. Uh, this is fine. This is, this is okay. Um, very easy to wear though. There's the back of it as well. Yeah, you can see a little Supreme logo down there. It's not too bad. We've got it coming in a black as well. Um, yeah. I think this is fine. Um, it's very easy to wear, isn't it? Very versatile. You know, you, you'd struggle to say that you can't wear something like this and this. We've then what looks to get a graphic t-shirt with a bunch of skulls at the bottom of it. Um, yeah, this, this is fine. This is okay. We've got a, I guess an overshirt by the looks of it. It looks like kind of like a work shirt in a way, double pocketed, um, single colored as well, just white. There's another shot of it there. Looks like we get some matching shorts as well. Comes in a striped color as well, which is very nice. I like the colors on that. There's a, the black pants being showcased again. Here's another shot of it. I like the colors. Of course, we get a box logo hoodie done in what looks to be a very like painted texture or a, I guess like a painted box logo because it looks like, um, you know, as if someone was to paint it, but not uh, go over it enough times and it's kind of missing paint in some areas and it's got like multiple coats in some areas and not in others that it looks really cool with that like a texture to it I'd just be really interested to see like how it feels what material they chose I mean I assume it's hundred percent cotton and they've just applied this really cool um, painted style to it but I'd just be so interested in how they managed to do that and yeah, I think it's done well, like, again, versatile, right? Like, nobody's going to say, I can't wear this Supreme Box logo hoodie. Like, it's very easy color-wise. Um, yeah, that's cool. Matches the pants that they're releasing as well, the double knee painter pants. You can just see the outline of, like, a what almost looks like to be a reversed Supreme Box logo on the back. And you can see the... It's like they've painted the details of the hoodie on the back of it, and then on the front of it, they've just done the painted texture. It's it's as if they painted one, 
put it put it on a table, painted the second one, put it on top of the first painted one, and just kept doing that as they were going. And then that's therefore why there's an imprint on the back of it and the imprint of the hoodie on the back of it. It's it's a cool way of approaching that. It made me think that that's what's happened here. Um, realistically, it probably didn't happen that way at all, but that's kind of the story that I've kind of thought about when I see this and how it's been approached. So it's cool that they invoked that feeling in me where I'm like, oh, this it's, it's like someone painted it and then chucked another one on top of it and it's like imprinted. Just my thoughts on that though. We've got a white version of it. We've got a very oversized biker chain here as what looks to be an accessory, um, which works in line with Supreme being a skating brand and that whole culture. So it works out. We've got the pants being shown again, the hoodie being shown again. It's probably got an Im imprinted box logo there that we can't really see. We've got a zip up hoodie. This one's probably the piece that's doing the least amount for me. It's just a bunch of different, uh, you know, Maison Margiela graphics being done in very typical Supreme logos and stuff. And they've been printed over the top of a Supreme logo and uh, established a year of 1994. Yeah, okay. Um, on the inside of it, it looks like it's got the skulls as well. We can see the painted skulls on, on the inside of the hood. I do like that element to it where it's got that. Maybe it's reversible as well. And if it is reversible, I'd probably wear it with the skulls on the outside, but um, we'll have to see in the product photos. We've got another shot of the painted painter pants, which how funny is that? Uh, yeah, that's fine. We've got the box logo t-shirt being showcased to us. This is pretty funny. They've taken a photo of a box logo hoodie, uh, sorry, box logo t-shirt and put it on a box, well, a t-shirt. And now it looks like a box logo t-shirt. It's the box logo t-shirt on a t-shirt, which that's fun. <laughs> People are gonna be like, are you wearing two shirts? No, nah, I'm just wearing the t-shirt the with a photo of a t-shirt on it, which, you know, I, I can get around that. That's a, that's a fun thing. Um, it has it on the back as well, so you're not going to look ridiculous just having it on the front. It looks to go all the way around to the back of the shirt as well. They've done well doing that. That's a lot of fun. We've got this very, very long, uh, Hanes tank top, which, um, yeah, goes forever. <laughs> um, I don't know how to wear that, I suppose. Like, it's going to be, like, either wear it double layered or you'd have to figure it out, wouldn't you? You'd have to figure out how to wear something like this. Um, could be fun though. Could be fun to figure out. Okay, so they've kind of styled it as if you would, yeah, place place one uh, part of it over the top of it and then kind of wear it as a, like a double tank top and then the logos and everything kind of overlap each other, which that's cool. Um, what an effort that is going to be to put on that tank top. I would be so turned off wearing a piece like this where I'd just be like, just give me a normal tank top, man. I'll just wear two. I'll just wear two tank tops and get the same effect. <laughs> but I suppose, true, it's not the Supreme uh, one. So yeah, there we go. I'm missing out on that. Um, I actually don't know what this is. I mean, my first thought is, is it a wig in a bag? But it's got to be more to it than that. We've got another shot of the, the biker chain. Okay, we've got a skateboard releasing in this collab. It uh, looks to be a painted over the top of white Supreme skateboard, which like I was saying, rings true to Maison Margiela's like mainline collections where they paint over their, their tabby shoes and various other pieces as well. So yeah, I, this, this is very appropriate. And I like how authentic the paint looks with it being scratched off this way because yeah, then it makes it feel like someone has skated on this board, like having the imprint of where the uh, trucks and wheels go, like here and there, and having that all scratched off. I think that's really well done. Um, but there we go. That is the editorial. We've seen some awesome pieces in this collaboration. Some things which are cool, are versatile, but I wouldn't say are a must have for me. But um, yeah, now that we have checked out the editorial, let's check out the uh, individual pieces and see how it shapes up. So here's our individual photos of that faux fur jacket. I think this is probably my favorite piece. It, they just, it just really speaks to me. I love trench coats, faux fur coats. It's just, 
I love it. I would, I'd love the thought of just wearing like suit pants, a black turtleneck, and just like this lovely coat over the top of it with this exact hat that I'm wearing. And it's just, it's cozy, it's in winter. I'm a huge fan. I love it. I definitely want it. Uh, I love the various different like animal prints and uh, cuts and lengths of the faux fur being used. It's just a lot of fun. I really enjoy it. We've got the suit coming in white. We've got the suit coming in black. I mean, I think this is fine. I'd love to see how it kind of fits on body, but um, realistically, I think I'm just a bit too big to be able to fit into something like this. But um, yeah, it's a nice piece. And I'm unsure if this is being sold separately, but we have the, the vest as well. Um, so you'd have to buy them separately, I assume, to have the full ensemble, but you could also buy this just by itself and wear that uh, over the top of some formal wear as well. There's the back of it. There it is in black. We then move into the like needles rebuild varsity jacket. Um, yeah, I like. I, I mentioned that I like this piece. I like the colors that they've used on it. I've liked the uh, varsity jackets that they've combined here to make this. Um, I can get around this, but if it's too expensive, I'm actually just going to go buy like secondhand needles or something like that. Like there's alternatives that I can definitely pick up instead of this. Uh, we've got that painted, very shiny jacket. Uh, we can see the original brown color underneath it and the paint spilling onto it as well. Uh, yeah, this is a cool jacket. Very versatile, very easy to wear. Comes in that black color as well. There's the two colors being shown again. With the matching pants, of course, we got the painted on painter pants coming in the same colors as the jacket, so you can have a full ensemble there. It's cool. We've got the overshirt that I was talking about, the work shirt. Uh, nice colors on this one. Okay, it's padded as well, so this will keep you very nice and toasty. Uh, very good for the winter seasons and whatnot. Maybe not winter, maybe more like autumn or fall, you know, like getting colder, but not really cold. But it'll keep you really nice and warm. Um, comes in a black. I mean, look, look how, how easy is this to wear? Black, overshirt, padded. It's so simple, so easy. Same with the white. Yeah, I think like as much as everyone will overlook this piece, I think this is a very nice piece that if you just like, if you don't want anything loud from the collaboration, but you want something from the collaboration to wear, I think this is the, this is the piece to go for. Um, we've got the, yep, the zip up hoodie. Doesn't look like it's reversible now that we see this kind of shot where I can see the lining in there. I like the flames, flaming skulls inside of the hood. The logos on the front, they don't do too much for me, um, but they've chosen a very nice color for the hoodie and like it is something that I could like wear and see myself wearing, but um, it's not the most exciting piece in the collaboration, but it's okay. Oh, it comes in a gray as well. I like the logos on the gray matching the gray hoodie, but I think the green color is better. Cool that they had it in two color options though. Three color options. The black one's the best. The black one's the best now. <laughs> I mean, damn, who would have thought he said that? But yeah, no, nah, the, the black one's the best one. It's cool. I didn't think that we were going to get that many color offerings based off the lookbook. So that's cool to see. Here's the painted box logo hoodie. I, again, I like this concept because it, uh, like that story that I was telling you about, it makes me feel like they've painted each of these, thrown it onto a table, painted the second one, thrown it on top of it, and that's why it's imprinting on the back. Uh, it just feels like it's got a bit of a story to it, um, even though it probably doesn't. They obviously intentionally did this. <laughs> um, and there's no color like this on the inside of it, so that's kind of crazy to see as well. There it is on the back. Comes in a white. I think there is that logo there, but it's so hard to see. I can kind of see the outline of the kangaroo pouch on the back here, but it's so hard to see. They're cool. They're, I, I like both of them. They are very cool. We've got the matching shorts to the work shirt that we saw before. Um, another piece that you could pick up from this collaboration that, uh, you know, isn't going to scream this collaboration, but just if you like it, if you like the collab, you can pick these nice, easy to wear pieces up because these two pairs of shorts look very versatile. Um, I don't know how the cut actually is going to shape up, but the colors are at least very easy to wear. 
We got that flaming skull shirt. I think this is fine. It just looks like every other vintage uh, tee that you see on Instagram. But um, yeah, like that's cool. That's fine. We got the printed on box logo on the box logo t-shirt. Uh, this is a lot of fun. I would love to wear this just to screw with, uh, screw with people because they'd be like, oh, why are you wearing two shirts? Why do you have a photo of a shirt on a shirt? It, it, it would be the same reaction as the uh, knit sweater that I have that has a uh, sewing machine on it. Some people get it. They're like, oh, you've got the thing that made the, made the knit sweater on the knit sweater. That's funny. And I feel like they would get it in the same way that they would get this t-shirt. Oh, you got the photo of the shirt on a shirt. That's so funny. Uh, but then there are people that would just ask a bunch of questions and get confused by it. But yeah, no, it's just fun. It's it's really conversation provoking, right? Like you wear that and someone who doesn't know fashion is going to be like, what are you wearing, man? Why, why do you have that? <laughs> and to me, that's always fun. Like I always love wearing pieces that incite those kind of conversations. So yeah, this, this is something that definitely speaks to me. There's the back of it. Uh, here is the very long double up uh, Hanes tank tops. Now that it's being shown like this, I'm more inclined to wear it. And I could wear something like this with the double layering to it. Um, yeah, it just looks so hectic in that uh, editorial photo. But this is a lot easier to kind of visualize now. Uh, yeah, look at it. How it's kind of just like... I have to, someone would have to show me how to wear it so I could wear it correctly where it's like double layered because I would want it to be double layered. But um, yeah, there we go. And it comes in a black as well. You know, I love black and white pieces. This is definitely speaking to me, but I'm going to need some help putting it on and figuring it out because uh, that's pretty wild. Uh, okay, I didn't know that we're getting socks in the collaboration, but we're getting some socks. Very simple socks as well. Um, yeah. Mason Margiela 6, Supreme, yeah. We've got the painted over camp cap. Yeah, that's looks that's looks that looks really nice. Uh it's versatile, it's all black. You, you know, you can't go wrong with an all black hat. There's the uh Mason Margiela 6 logo on the back, Supreme on the leather band. Comes in a white as well as we saw. Yeah, I have no issues with that. We've got, oh, the wallet, which is a Supreme receipt. That's really cool. Um, pulling reference to, I think, a collection from Maison Margiela in like 2011, where they did like a wallet with, uh, the wallet looked like it was a stack of uh, dollar bills. And um, that's how the outside of the wallet looks. Uh, I, everyone really loves that wallet. And I like how they've approached this Supreme receipt one as well where they've grabbed a supreme receipt and turned it into a wallet that's an awesome accessory i'd love to own that accessory but in saying that i don't actually use my wallet that often because i never have cash on me and if i didn't have physical id on me and we went digital then i wouldn't have a wallet at all um so i would probably wear it i'd probably own it and then never actually use it but uh yeah it's a cool accessory to release in this collaboration there's a shot of the wallet opened up. Yeah, that's cool. Here's a shot of the bicycle chain, which I actually really liked it being worn as an accessory over the top of a white hoodie. Um, that's going to be seen as very weird in everyday life if you do that, but I'm here for it. I'm still lost on what this is. I'm going to have to go read the article and figure out what this is, because this just looks like a wig to me. Um, We'll have to come back to that. Here's the skateboard on the top of it. It just looks like, you know, just a Supreme Maison Margiela 6 uh, collaborative skateboard. But then on the bottom, it looks like it's worn. It looks like it's uh, a Supreme skateboard that's been painted over by Maison Margiela 6. And then it's been uh, used. So the Supreme, uh, you know, original lo logo comes through it. I really like that approach. I think that's a really cool skateboard. And uh, yeah, that's it. That is the collaboration in its entirety, guys. The Supreme Maison Margiela 6 collaboration. How do I feel about it? Um, the accessories are really fun, except for that weird wig, which I don't know what that is. Um, I really love the faux fur coat. The jackets are versatile, easy to wear, matching pants to them. Now that I think about it, 
there's no pieces in this collaboration where I'm like, that's hideous, I couldn't wear that, no way. So they've done, the, the consistency here is really good. And there are some standout pieces that I really enjoy from the collaboration. So yeah, I'm like trying to fault it, but it's really hard to. So well done, well done, uh, Mesa Margiela 6 and Supreme. Um, some people will feel very differently about it, of course. Some people will really like it. Some people will really hate it. Uh, I'd love to hear those thoughts though. Like I enjoyed it. I think there are some fun pieces here. Um, no hate from me today. We're keeping it a hate-free Tuesday. Uh, I'd love to hear how you feel about it though, down in that comment section below. And that's everything to cover about the upcoming collaboration, guys. We covered the release details, we covered the editorial, the individual pieces, and my thoughts and opinions on the individual pieces and the collaboration as a whole. I was actually quite surprised. I was gonna come in here thinking that there's gonna be a lot of pieces I didn't like, but they've approached a lot of the pieces here where it's very easy to wear, very consumable. Um, it's not too avant-garde where people are like, ooh, I don't know about that one. Uh, for me, yeah, I'm, I'm excited about a lot of pieces here. Can I afford said pieces and can I buy those pieces anytime soon? Probably not, <laughs> but I can appreciate them. So we'll take that, we'll take that. But um, I'd love to hear from you guys now that we have covered everything. Are you gonna be buying anything when this collaboration drops? Are you gonna be buying the, the faux fur jacket, the double box logo t-shirt or the painted pieces like the hoodies, the jackets, the pants? I'd love to hear if you are picking up anything from this collaboration down in that comment section below. And of course, if you guys want me to keep covering upcoming Supreme collaborations, weekly drops, collections, you know what I'm gonna ask you for. I'm gonna ask you for the three indicators I always ask you for, which is a like on this video, a comment in that comment section down below. And if you haven't already, the best indicator you can give me is a subscribe to the channel. Uh, as mentioned in previous uploads, we're trying to hit the subscriber milestone of 3,835 subscribers before the end of the month. Hopefully with your guys' continuous support, we'll be able to reach that milestone before the end of March. But that's all I have to add about this collaboration, guys. I'm quite happy with it. Stay tuned for the drop list video for when I cover everything to do with week seven. Uh, we'll have to see what we're also gonna be getting from the seasonal part of the season. But until the next drop list video, until the next Supreme video, until the next Streetwear Talk video in general, guys, I'll catch you later.